Well, that's one way to kick off a stream. Thanks so much, Whip. Holy nuggets. Welcome in, everyone. Whip, how was your stream? Were you up to hardcore or Empire's shenanigans? What were you up to? Thanks so much. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, you are just in time. We just started. Just kicked off the Friday stream. Worked out well. We're just a little bit late today, actually. Thanks for the follows, folks. Very much appreciated. Looks like the uh, the follow notification is now working. It might take a little bit for, uh, for Streamlabs to catch up, but uh, much appreciated. If you're new to the stream, my name is Joel Duggan, and I am co-host of the Spongebunks podcast with Pixel Riffs. I stream here on the Citadel server, which is about four years old, a little over that. And we are currently in the medieval area here on the server. So this is under construction, uh, and it's been under construction for about nine months so far. Most of that has actually been on the other side, so we're going to walk over that way while we talk. Uh, you can also find a lot of information about me at joelduggan.com, as well as Joel Duggan on Twitter. Saboros, thanks very much for the Tier 1. Welcome in. If uh, you want to connect your Discord and your Twitch, then you can join the Discord now that you're a sub. And you can find the Joel Duggan Discord in your Connections tab on, on uh, the Discord Options screen. So this is kind of the start of the more densely built area. We've got an apothecary on the right-hand side. We've got kind of like a little nondescript house here. We've got a carpenter over here. I'll take my time and walk through this as people come in and say hello. So we've got like a table saw. We've got like a, a barge loader thing from the river. Obviously, the other side of the river has not been worked on. That's... I think that's going to be barracks. I'm not really sure. A few little things. We do have a couple of data packs on the server. Tables and chairs by Chuck Chuck. I have a couple of custom texture packs, including, I think this is Whip's. I think that's Whip's note block, matter of fact. And then back here, we've got a smokehouse for smoked meats of all kinds. And that's right behind Butcher Shop, which is messy. Out front, butcher shop looks like that. So they're not overly complicated builds. I'm trying to keep it pretty simple. Havoc Tracks coming in at tier one for seven months in a row. Thanks so much, Havoc Tracks. Good to see you back. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, then we have an inn here. An inn and a bar. Oh, it's missing a door. So again, not a lot of in inside decoration because I wanted to get the outsides done first. And we have a spice merchant. I like this one quite a bit, actually. This was a fun one. And then we've got the blacksmith. The stables, which is brand new. We just finished that last stream. That's brand new. The uh, thing I like about the stables is this little thing in the back here. It doesn't quite line up, but it, it looks kind of cool. I like that kind of stuff. Those little fun details are always great to work on. Uh, and then we've got a bakery over here. I don't think there's anything inside. Just nothing too fancy. The rest of these builds are all just houses, uh, with the exception of this one. This one is a cooper. So this is a, a barrel builder. That's what happens in here. Thanks for all the follows, folks. Welcome in. So yeah, this is uh, this is kind of where we've been hanging our hats. Uh, these other places are just kind of like nondescript houses. Some of these buildings are empty. There's not not a lot going inside. Um, the blacksmith is done inside as well as outside, which is nice. I think, Whip, I stole this idea from you. I'm pretty sure the shroom blocks as molten metal. I think I'm I think I stole this whole design idea from you. This one we're quite proud of the the bellows as the, the composter that worked out pretty well. So uh, today I want to work on these roads. So we did a lot of texture here in the square, but it kind of comes to a grinding halt right here. And then this is all very, very clean, non-textured road. So I think that's what we're going to start today. We're going to grab our shulker box full of stuff and come out here and work on that. And I think we're just going to go cracked, cobble, and andesite and smooth stone. I don't think we're going to get too complicated with it. So let's walk around this way. Bits Hype, Havoc Tracks with 100 bits. Thanks very much. Close to a hype train. A minute left if anybody wants to kick that off.
Hey, there's the hype train. Shepard with 100 bits. The hype train engineer. Shepard. Thanks very much, Shepard. Appreciate it. Heads beds. Love the details. Thank you. Appreciate that. We do try to to bring that to the build, you know, try to, it's a lot of thought. Uh, it's not the most, it's not the busiest build. I'm, I'm a minimalist just kind of by nature. So uh, it's not, uh, not overly complicated, but I'm going to bring, bring that and bring andesite and crack stone bricks. I think that's all we'll need. I'll grab one extra shulker box here just because you tend to need a shulker box for extra bits. Uh, the other thing we're working on down here is a design for a uh, honey, honey mead. So big vats, big stills of honey would be really cool. This is obviously where I'm storing things temporarily. Wow. Thanks again for all the follows folks. Very much appreciated. And thanks for sticking around. I know you probably have been watching streams for the better part of an hour or two at least with uh, with Whip doing his thing. Whip, did I see that you went on vacation? I'm not even sure if Whip is still here. Let's put these out here where they'll be out of the way. Do, do, do. And these. Cobblestone, stone, stone bricks, and a site. We've got Sweet Sandy gifting a tier one to the community. Thanks very much, Sweet Sandy. That went to Just Jaws 13. Just Jaws, connect your Discord and Twitch and join the Discord. Would love to have you. And we was subbed to tier one for 23 months. Has it been that long, Liwas? Wow. Almost two years. Your two years is going to be in the first week of October, which is when I'm going to be streaming hopefully the new Satisfactory update. I just watched the video today and it looks really cool. I'm looking forward to that. So with this, I think we're just going to go pretty simple. Uh, I'll start with probably the cobble because I don't want to use a lot of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and and pepper this in wherever I think it might look okay. I'm thinking mostly it's going to be kind of like along the edges, like not down the middle, but more in just kind of random spots. Try not to make a pattern, but we all know how that ends up. Devon Scarata subscribed at tier two. That's two months in a row for the tier two. Thanks very much, Devin. Rocking the Earth Keystone badge, I see. Appreciate that. Probably a little bit more worn here by the gate. I wonder if we could, I wonder if I can make this look like it's mostly been like really worn down by the gate. That could be kind of cool. Try to make it look like the gates kind of swing over everything. I don't need this in my hotbar. Yeah, that kind of looks cool. Maybe we'll add in cracked here in the corner. I 
hope I muted myself. Sorry, that kind of stuck up on me. Um, another minute 40 left on level two hype train. Real enemy and big boss Ken have also followed. Thanks very much, folks. Oh, time to sleep. Uh, for anybody wondering, we do run a couple of client side uh, mods on the server. They are mostly uh, UI stuff. So I do have a map which makes this kind of build a lot easier to kind of look at and plan from above. Uh, but everything else is like looking in shy shulker boxes and I feel like there was one other one, but I think we removed the the Mambian's uh, audio app. We just decided it was better to not have it. So that comes in there. Let's go with like another archway here. Maybe we'll make this cracked. And then we'll come in with more of that and that. So a little bit more worn here at the gates, makes sense. I might actually put some uh, droppers down there to make it look like you might be able to lock the gate. That would be kind of cool. <clears throat> Yay for mute buttons, did I get it? I nailed it, okay, good. Got to head to work. Have a great stream. Thanks so, so much, Lee Was. Uh, thanks again for the sub. Glad to have you as part of the community. That is a, a successful level two hype train. No, Larry, level one hype train, sorry. Which means the snake head is what I got. Thanks very much, folks. Really appreciate the support. Uh, so let's go in here with... I feel like I need to go look at the other, the other road that I started. Bearing the lead, here's the front of the, the town. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I used those stones. I think we're going to save those for fancier parts of town. I think it was mostly just andesite and cobble. No, it's most, mostly cobble and... Okay. I like this idea of just you doing the cobble first. Probably maybe like here. Burnsy and Josh, thanks so much for the follows. So this is the slower, slower part of the process here, but eventually it will start to come together. I like the idea of pairing some of these with stone bricks. I know I've said it on, on stream before, but something I definitely picked up from Minecraft Dungeons is to use a lot of cracked bricks. It tends to get you where you want to go quickly. What I'm trying to do is have any kind of pattern be as minimal as possible, but also keeping the middle pretty clean, but then having the the sides be worn in if, as if there was a wagon wheel, you know, tread sort of worn things down. Do you have plans for more residential buildings here? Yeah, they're going to be on the other side of the river. So probably the residential stuff is going to be probably through here. Uh, well, at least one. These might be shops. This could be easily residential. Uh, these already are. 
uh, up here. These are residential stuff. Or these. And then a lot, a lot over here. That's probably how that's going to go. That's a little bit too busy. What ends up happening is I just end up walk walking back and forth a fair bit. Whoops. Oh my gosh. That one. Thank you. The hardest part I find is, is these edges. I'm trying to figure out what to do along here to make it look, look good. I've definitely got some ideas from some modded mi Minecraft research, some screenshots that I've been able to to research lately about like little trees and shrubs and bushes and stuff. Which mini map do you use? It's Zero, uh, Z uh, X A E R O S, and it looks like Cosmic has the link in the chat. Do you have any plans for the fields where you are now working up to the barn and the farmhouse? Yeah, there's more farmhouse plans. So the idea is to take this wheat field and expand it this way. Uh, you can sort of see the gray dotted line here. That's going to be a road. It's going to connect up here. Uh, I need to finish the river. And then uh, this area will have something on it probably. And then so will this. Uh, there's be several in here because uh, this road is going to go across here this way. So we'll see. Definitely sparse, more more sparse builds and probably more trees. Um, I might go through and plant some Minecraft trees. Nothing custom, just kind of like let it let it do its thing. Um, So over here, we want to try to break it up a little bit more. Get it worn down more. Let's switch these up here. Go with some andesite there. And we'll bring some more cracked along this way. I love how the stone then turns into coarse dirt. Looks great on the ground and from the map too. Thanks, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do more with it. There's another, we'll go back to the main area. If we go back up here, I really liked what I did with this road. And you can see even from the map, it has a much different texture. Um, it has a lot of work though. 
So I just want to make sure we're getting there with this. Like we're starting to see a little bit more, more to it. I feel like I'm going about this backwards. I probably should start with the cracked, like start where there's more stuff. So same idea here, we can go with pop it in some smooth stone or natural stone. Might even go as far as to put some andesite in here. Mr. Captain Five. Day is going just great, thank you. I had a really good workout. Managed to get off at around 12.30. And uh, went straight to the gym. Was there for two hours and a bit. Well, sorry, I was at the gym for an hour, but it takes me a half an hour to walk there. So an hour of the workout was the walk to and from, and then the rest of it was was uh uh sure actually let's make that um smooth stone i just can't get past calling this smooth stone i don't i know there's two different kinds of smooth stone in the game but i just i'm not sure why because it's just stone i can call it stone it's fine Imagine walking back after leg day. I actually don't train legs that often. I know it sounds like, Joel, you should train your legs. Um, but uh, I have a problem right now where most pants don't fit me. <laughs> so, uh, and it's not that I'm overweight. It's that, it's that I have uh, quite a lot of size left over from my days of training very seriously as a younger guy. So I don't have skinny legs and uh, genetically when I train legs, I just, they get huge. So I train them once every other, maybe other two weeks, maybe every once a month, twice a month. I don't, I don't spend a lot of time on it. I run too. So running gets me quite a lot of, of leg, leg workouts. Yeah, I should have maybe started with the cracked. I think that's working a little bit better. Glad we smelted a lot of this last time. The problem, of course, is that we can't do any of this when we turn the corner because we've got slabs and so we're stuck with just cobblestone and smooth regular stone I used a little bit of those Feel like the andesite needs to come down a little bit closer. Could even replace some of this cobble. Yeah, that helps a little bit. Let's just get up a little bit higher to see see how we're doing.
Yep, I'd say we just need to add a little bit more smooth stone in there. Yeah, I did it again. Stone. It's just stone, Joel. It's not like you've been playing this game for four or five years. Oh, well, thanks very much, Tech uh, Techno Blade fan. Really appreciate that. It's been a lot of practice, and it's been a lot of watching people like Whip and Mythical Sausage and uh, Pixel Riffs, uh, Gemini Tay, just people that I see do really cool things in Minecraft and then try to emulate. I mean, good artists borrow, great artists steal. <laughs> Is a, is a fun little quote. I'm really just kind of eyeballing this there's no method to my madness so to speak i'm not entirely sure if this works this kind of like trip taper off we might have to do a little bit more the path obviously is quite boring uh and this is gonna bug me so we're gonna just kind of move this out of the way eventually turn into grass. But look, I thought the cobblestone was going to stand out, but it's the andesite that's really popping out at me right there. So maybe we need to tone that down a little bit. have a couple of them I'm okay with more in here Let's see if that helps yeah just a little bit right subtle um I think that looks okay I don't want to spend forever on these things because, I mean, ultimately they're just things that people walk along. Uh, they don't really pay much attention to them. So the other thing we can do is grab the wood box and a log box and the landscape box. that and we'll grab some of these oh that's the other data pack we have is the wood in the in the um the bench there the stone cutter uh i need to let's walk let's go for a walk Especially because there's so many new people here. Uh, I need to go back up to the starting area in this zone and take a look at the um, take a look at the road that's up there. Coarse dirt on the sides would look cool. This is all coarse dirt here. So the main the main paths are all coarse dirt. Thanks, Cosmic. <laughs> Considering I just removed some of the andesite. We obviously haven't placed all the coarse dirt for these paths, but or roads. Let's 
so these were the first two builds. Um, by the way, if you're if you want to catch up on this world, I've been uploading the VODs from Twitch from November, starting with this farm. There was nothing here. And then did this one and moved all the way in and did the whole city. So the whole thing has been slowly being updated to uh, Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. Cosmic just threw the link in the chat for you folks. So if you want to go subscribe to that channel, there is uncut, no time lapse, nothing. It's all just straight building uh, up on the channel. I think we are as far as the inn, maybe, in the market square. I'm behind. The VODs are currently from May, I think. I ran into a, a snag where I have to do some editing, and so I've been behind. But eventually I will catch up, and I'll be posting, like, every VOD weekly. Hey, Glow Watts, how's it going? Good to see you. This path took forever, but it was well worth it. So this is what I'm getting at. A little bit more mossy stuff. The acacia really works well. And I think I used a lot more andesite around here. We'll sleep in the bed so we can see what's going on. Concrete powder. Yeah. Concrete powder. That looks like dark oak. And then all this fence and trickery and stuff can be helpful. I did use a lot of andesite here, didn't I? Actually, while we're here, we should go... So we've got command blocks on the server that teleport us 10,000 blocks to the different zones. We've got like a modern city in a medieval area. So this is what the teleporter is housed in. And I need to go into the nether and grab the other cracked bricks that I've been smelting because I know I'm going to run out. Leaguer Gaming, hello. Good to see you. Uh, this way. Hey, Mixed Screw Gun. Welcome in. Good to see you as always. Do, 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 do. Uh, they were in here. That's it? Well, I did a lot more. Huh. All right then. How long is this world running? Four years. I don't remember the link to Alistair's website, but it's alistairmcfly.com, I think, and there's a link within his website to get to the Citadel page. It has a bit more information. All right. So gravel. Oh, hi, friend. So I've definitely brought out the moss blocks. But I think the big key takeaways are gravel and dark oak and acacia. spruce stuff. I think we're okay. I think I have a plan. Don't know how much mushroom block we'll use because I don't think it really fits 
It goes well in the taiga biome, but doesn't really work well in the plains biome. So we've not done a lot in these roads. I've just put like a little bits of gravel here and there, and it tends to work very, very well because of the random texture with the pebbles and the coarse dirt, which is an idea I got from Jermsey Boy. But we haven't done any of that over here. This road probably needs to be wider anyway. Shortcut. So I want to try and do something a little bit more with this so it's not quite so, so barren. I'll have to figure out what to do up here. So here is where we can start to get into some stripped dark oak. And I don't think I brought gravel, but there's some gravel here. So what I try to do when I do this is uh, I try not to um, I try not to remove the bits of coarse dirt that have the pebbles on them because some of them are just plain, right? And so it's easier to kind of get in there with the stuff that's not plain and dress it up a little bit. So we can probably bring in some gravel as well. That will help this path. Whoops. weird how I can talk through making a house but then I go to do texturing and I find myself getting super quiet. I feel like I could probably use some of this along the edges as well. Unfortunately, we can't do it on the uh, slabs. We'll have to put in a little bit of spruce in there. Do you use the 70-30 rule here too, Joel, when you're adding details to the path? Yeah, you don't want 
So the 70-30 rule, you don't want these blocks to be more than 30% of what's happening in the path. But then each individual block, it's like, well, I'm kind of like, I try not to line up blocks in a row. So like, I wouldn't want to put another, another stone brick like there because they're in line, right? So even if they're off by one, it makes a huge difference. But I generally try to, what I call like pepper things around. Like even this, I feel like we could probably, and as you work it, I mean, like you can always change things. I feel like this, we could probably move a little bit farther along. Just so that you really don't see the texture very often. Repeated, you know. But this works well because this looks low. Like this looks lower than everything. So you can probably like capitalize on that. And help give some of these light gray blocks some lift. Which again, it's an optical illusion. But because of the dark edges on the block here. It sort of looks like a shadow. Right? So here it's lined up with that one. So I want to try and find a different spot. Did I line it up with this one? I did. gravel And none of this is going to look super great until we can finally get all like bushes and shrubbery and really kind of give it some edges. Like this is going to have to have trees and some other stuff in there too. I mean, normally you wouldn't want it too close to the wall because that just gives people cover, but this feels like more of a peaceful town than it would a town that would have to be defended all the time. Need to go get more gravel. <laughs> this task requires maximum concentration. It's like watching an art stream. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Nighttime falls again. I want my gravel box. This one. And I'm going to bring moss and oh, there's grass in that. I can just bring the one. Don't need that. I don't think there's any specialty stuff that we need for the road. I mean, could always just bring the, the bones. It's cool that you can walk all these different paths to get around now. Yeah, I agree. It's one of the reasons I did it is because you just... I try not to do too much. I mean, sometimes if you'll, if I'm really working quickly on a build, I'll be flying back and forth with rockets and stuff, but it's nice that you've got different ways to get across. So like we went up across that last time, I can come back across this, this time. Uh, and rather than going out 
the main gate. Like I can go back here, go this way and that way. And this way again. So I'm feeling like this would get a little bit more, more complicated. And maybe push out a little bit farther. I feel like I need I feel like I need another color brown. Like I want another another brown in here somewhere. But really feeling the the weirdness here. Like there needs to be something something here. Let's um Let's just see what happens naturally. Oh, I don't have oak saplings? That's annoying. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna want some oak saplings. Pretty sure I've got some in the barn. Mushroom block is a little bit too light, I think. I wanted something darker. Maybe what I can do is use some spruce, like planks and trapdoors like this. That could be helpful. I like this a lot. Yeah, so maybe some spruce, spruce planks. Look at all the dripstone. see what happens ah darker stone darker 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 yeah I think we're just gonna try the spruce so it's not darker but it's kind of in between Still looks like wood, unfortunately. So I get to use sometimes the mini map here. Um, I don't remember what zooms the mini map. Let's see. Uh, hit this button. Nope. Not that one. One of these does it. These are mini map settings. How do you? Zoom. Huh. Maybe it's under controls. Usually zeros minimap stuff's at the bottom. 
zoom in, zoom out. Enlarge minimap is Z, which is conflicting with something. Save hotbar active. Well, let's go shift Z. Oh, you can't do combos? Well, that sucks. I just. Uh. Save active hotbar, sure. And then zoom is enlarge minimap. There we go. So yeah, you can kind of like zoom in quickly, kind of see what's going on. I think that sort of works. We'll move on to this side now. Also, I'll need some slabs. Don't forget. gravel here I usually use escape to make it blank oh cool I didn't know you could do that I'll uh yeah next time I'm in there I'll tighten it up. When I was messing around with uh, testing some modded Minecraft stuff earlier today, there was a lot of hotkey conflict, and I was just like, oh, uh, I don't know exactly how to handle this just yet. So, but thanks. That, I'll remember that next time I'm in there. Uh, I'll have to worry about that later. Also, I don't need that. So same thing here, putting these guys in here will help. Oh, I face them the right way though. Help with making these be a little bit higher. So the tricky part will be getting some grays to go down down the stairs or like down the slope. Yeah, it looks like stairs, but the idea is it meant to be more of a slope. Good time for a break when you're ready, Syscosmic. Thank you very much for the reminder. The sun is going down, so that actually is a decent time for a break. Uh, I also need to get more rockets. I'll do that, and then I'll go back to a place where I can AFK. Cool. If you're new to the channel, as I think a lot of you are, I take a short break about once an hour. I usually refresh my coffee, grab a snack. You should too. It's Friday. Enjoy it. And we'll be back in about uh, five or six minutes.
sleep time. And then we're going to fly around and see how this is looking. Oh look, we'll land right up here. We've also created a mob farm. Target practice. They just died at the same time. He died of a broken heart. Can use a couple more things along the edge here, I think. And that's where I think we can probably get away with, uh, did I bring in? Did. And we'll also do some mossy cobble. So I think along here, we could probably sneak in like that. Maybe have a couple extra along here. Yeah, getting higher definitely helps. All this kind of stuff. Devon Skirata, thanks very much for the tier one gift bomb to five new members of the community. If you all want to connect your Discord and your Twitch, you can join us in the Discord for the next month. And uh, then there's a little bit of a grace period where you'll be able to make a decision as to whether you want to stay around. And then you can renew on Twitch if you want. Or there's alternatives like Patreon, which is more affordable. Uh, and... Uh, and Prime, of course, Prime Gaming. But thanks very much. During sub September, there's actually a 20% off of new subs and gift subs. So if you're on the fence and you're wondering, there's definitely ways to join. I'm going to go with Smooth Stone right there. Oh, that's straight. Let's go. Uh, you know, let's um, let's get a little bit more creative with this. I just made the wrong thing. And we'll get some slabs. Maybe a stair. This is what I was talking about with this. Like, it's the little things that help kind of frame the road a little bit. This kind of stuff definitely helps. And we'll go with this thing here. Hmm. 
Whoops. And to deal with this stuff here, we can see the edges. We can actually work in some moss. Uh, can I do it even though I'm already subbed? I don't know what you mean. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I think I said new subs when I was talking about the 20% off for Twitch for September. Uh, the offering from Twitch this year is not as advantageous as it has been in previous years. So, um, where is my moss? Here it is. Uh, you have to, um, you have to be a new sub. Uh, specifically talking about Prime Gaming in this case, the Prime sub. Oh yeah, the Prime sub, you can only use it on one streamer at a time. Blends in rather nicely. And we'll use a little bit of this. Why not? And maybe we'll grab that there. Turn these guys into moss. The Vixen 38 subscribed at tier one 27 months in a row. Holy smoke. Thanks so much, Vixen. Welcome on in. Good to see you. Hope things are well. I think we're gonna go whole hog here. Right down to there. Get rid of this. Feels a little symmetrical. Wondering if we can maybe break that up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, the only thing left, of course, is just putting some grass around it. Uh, let's go with that. Star of Fortitude Arts. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. That helps a little bit. I think that helps a little bit. And I still have stone slabs in here, so let's grab one of these and sort of think about where we want to slide in a stone. Maybe we'll actually put it like here on the edge.
Cool. That is not what I was expecting. Let's try something else. Moss is so good. Yeah, I really like that they've given us a, a, a texture in the game to quickly patch like grass sides, right? Like it just, it's hard not to overdo it. Right? It's hard not to overdo it. Uh, we are gonna need some dirt. We have, we're gonna need a sapling. And we're gonna do a little Frankenstein work. See what we get. It might be time to just remove this so it's less distracting. No idea what, if anything, is going to go here. We're just kind of winging it. Leaguer Gaming gifting a tier one sub to Wally879. Thanks very much, Leaguer Gaming. Appreciate that. Uh, I need to go get more stuff. Any plans for fields outside the walls? Yes, uh, there are. We've got some started. Just that this isn't going to be the farmland. Like this is all just like roads leading away from the town. Uh, but the fields are all going to be north. So there's one over there, one over there. Imagine this being a field. Probably this one too, although smaller. Uh, there's going to be an inn, I think, right here. Uh, but then all this stuff here, like, you don't want it... You don't want it too close. Like, all this stuff it needs to be empty. Because it would be too close to the wall. We'll see. Fields are pretty straightforward and easy. Like, they're just a matter of some organic building. Are we grafting trees together? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I think I left off on this side. feel like this could almost use a retaining wall. Let's just put that in quick. Whoop, I have fallen down the hole. I feel like I might have had a wall here before. I'm having some deja vu, but for right now, I think this is okay. I don't know if I want to go all the way to the top. Probably just want to go with like stone brick slabs. You like the small tree. I want there to be more of a more of a steer. So what's happening here is that there's not really anything over here and there's nothing going to be over that way except for a bridge. 
So I want something here to kind of steer your eye towards the main gate. So I want a big tree here. I was hoping for one of the default, like, big Minecraft trees. Oh, that's already the right height. Yeah, I feel like that looks okay. I might want to take these ones down a notch. Um, actually, that's going to have to stay there. Yeah, I'll worry about this a little bit later. Uh, for now... We're going to leave that there just because there's probably some things I need to light up down there. Yeah, I think that helps a little bit. Have you watched the latest Satisfactory Preview, Joel? Uh, the one already in your Discord? Yes! I haven't talked about it much because I watched it just before I went live today. It looks really good. It looks really, really good. Um, I'll be chatting with people more about it later. I'll probably talk about it a lot more the next time I play... Um, next time I play Satisfactory. Mm. Quality of life, for sure, Leaguer. Yep. Uh, the soft clipping. The all the new parts and stuff are lovely. Don't get me wrong. Angled builds and roofs, and it even looks like they retextured the walls. But like, soft clipping is going to be game changing, game changing in that in that in Satisfactory. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Although it makes me kind of want to hold off on the design work I'm doing on Devastator. I think on Devastator on on Satisfactory, I'm going to be focusing on. I'm going to be focusing on logistics and belts and and less about the look of it because I feel like there's going to be so much more I can do with all those new pieces and parts. Plus all the lights. I was thinking today that I can totally get like some really cool looking um some really cool looking effects with lights. Let's make you maybe something like cobblestone. Need to get more of this brown in here too. Can't do anything there except for slabs. Oops. Go there instead. Gecko Gamer, thanks to the host. Really appreciate that. And uh, Canorio, thanks for the follow. Wonder if we can get away with two in a row. That's not bad. He 
here, we want to sneak in maybe one of these. Same thing up here. Trying to think about where like people walking up and down this road would create the need to have it be either be reinforced or whatever. You're not really worried about the grass. That so the thing about stuff like this is that you focus on the on the thing that you want to be the center of attention, which is the road. Uh, and then after that, I'll probably streamline the river because the river hasn't been touched. Like you can tell that that's a default Minecraft river, right? Whereas you can look over here and you can see I've actually done some sculpting on the river. So once I sculpt the river, which would be the second thing, right? So the first thing you're gonna see is the road. Second thing is the bridge and the river. And then, then I'll figure out what's happening in here. And no idea, this could all be built up by four blocks so that's why I haven't bothered to do anything with it right now we're just kind of getting this road to the point where it looks like it's withering away I feel like we're doing okay uh, now here we want these guys just to give a little bit of a extra change I wish I had more options I really don't for slabs you're kind of kind of stuck maybe an andesite piece there uh, cobblestone. Cobblestone probably would be better. Do I have those? No. Hey, M Dog, how's it going? Good to see you. So, like, footpaths in the middle would have worn down the dirt and exposed exposed stone That does look a little bit funky there, doesn't it? Maybe this could be stone. Oh no, is this, it's right here that's weird. Two, one, one, one. Uh, it's just the turn. It's fine. Plugging away at some work. Nice. I think I've stared at this long enough. I'm not really feeling like I'm getting, getting any farther with it. I'll try to squeeze in one more of these. Maybe move this along. And I do feel like there needs to be a little bit more gravel here too.
Just where? The question. Maybe we need to start punching a little bit here. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, the acacia, I feel like we can sneak that in here too. What can I put there? Moonstone? I feel like that kind of trails off in a natural feeling way. Actually, we could probably get away with darker, darker oak here. Once again, a little higher always helps. I mean, it's subtle, but I think it works. I'm going to move that over by one, which I know sounds really nitpicky, but I think it'll make a difference. Cool. I feel like the gray could maybe travel a little bit farther, but it's hard to kind of work on that. But I think that's pretty good. I feel like the road does kind of taper off a little bit close to town, so I might end up pushing this a little bit farther. It depends. We're probably going to end up, um, when we build this bridge, we'll probably have to make a decision as to whether this whole thing is going to be cobble, and then we'll have this thing maybe pushing out this way. I just wanted to do something so this area doesn't feel so unfinished right now. Not nitpicky at all. That is where that block belongs, right, Toy Bear? Great minds think alike. Hey, hunt herding cats, how's it going? Acacia is not a texture that I would have thought would have worked here, but the color just matches so well. Yeah, it just it just ties the browns together. It doesn't work so well if you're not using any other browns because acacia is pretty warm for a gray, so it doesn't work unless you're using it with other browns. What is my least favorite resource to collect? don't know probably acacia logs actually acacia logs um i don't know oh i should be using fortune for this do you need silk touch? I don't remember. Glad these don't destroy blocks. 
That would have been not a good thing. Dripstone has a very weird hitbox. Now, which box am I keeping this in? All right, look, at first try. Aha! That sort of worked. I have more dirt. Another sapling. Where do I want this? Right there. Go here. Hey, hundred triple five, how's it going? Really hope the end update is in Minecraft's feature just because it would be awesome to see what they'd come up with given what they did with another and world gen in 118. I think that combined with um, what they've done with Minecraft Dungeons in the end, I think that there's an end update that's in the works. I don't think that's what's coming next. I think that the team probably wants to do something smaller. I would imagine the next update to Minecraft that they announce on the 16th of October? is going to be something akin to uh the bees like still a huge update like still really cool but i don't think they're going to touch terrain in the next update i think it's going to be gameplay update uh it's going to be feature update it's not going to be terrain update leader gaming 119 minor 120 major yeah no I, th I think so too i think you're gonna see holiday stuff like christmas holiday stuff remain to be m like smaller updates i don't want to say minor because i think i think calling the bees update a minor update is a, is a misnomer um because i really think there's quite a lot in that update i mean think about what honey blocks did for redstone right um but yeah i think i think that the smaller update is going to happen well christmas is going to be caves and cliffs like that's not that's going to be the thing but i think what they announce next will be will be smaller i would rather have smaller updates more frequently than having big long waits for big updates i'd much rather have and plus i feel like that might be more manageable for the team i don't know i don't i mean we don't, we don't know for sure but uh i think i'm done over here i don't think i have much left to do maybe just um I don't think I'm going to bother to do to do this right now cuz I don't know what's going to happen here. I feel like I feel like this needs more information before I decide how to texture the road. So, I mean like I could maybe pepper a few things that I just have in my inventory just so it doesn't look completely out of whack. I just don't want to spend too much time on something I'm going to have to redo. Oops. This is a little annoying sometimes. I'm glad that you can change things. Oh, I put the gravel back. They haven't updated Minecarts yet, that's true. 
I know I've said a number of times on the spawn chunks that I would love a, a minecart update. I'd like to see minecarts get up in between horses and elytra. Like I'd love for minecarts to end up being a proper like mid-game transport. Like fast. Put away those dark oak blocks too, didn't I? Let's just pepper this along quick. Just so it's not completely barren. And we're going to move this one. Well, that, I feel, is a decent uh, bit of progress. Wait and see what happens with that tree. Let's clear out this inventory a little bit here. I had more cracked bricks than I thought. Oop, not that one. Cool. Call that little project done. Minus the tree, of course. Let's 
Seen the item trams work into satisfactory belts. Hoppers in minecarts are far less flexible in short range. Minecarts can bridge the gap. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So here is the kind of the feel of kind of coming in here. It's not overly textured, but there's enough going on. I also, I may have to move this tree a little bit. I feel like it's a little in the way of the tower. I'd like this to be just a little bit over there. But what I like to do with this kind of stuff with the trees is I let the Minecraft thing do its, do its uh, random, you know, tick generation thing. And then you can go in and like customize it once you're already done. Just kind of tweak it a little bit, which is always fun. But then again, that keeps your eye to the left a little bit. It kind of steers you this way. There's a nice reveal to the tower when you come by. This is all feeling good. This is feeling very empty, but again, I don't know yet what's going to go here. I feel like what should go here is maybe like some sort of like cart, like some sort of like merchant cart with like selling stuff. But I've not done a cart in Minecraft before, so I need to go look up some reference before I do that. Uh, this is feeling good. Happy with that. Uh, this only goes to there. That's fine. Yeah, it feels good. A wandering trader. Yeah, maybe. Minecarts can go underwater now, but is that really an upgrade? Well, it's an upgrade for some people, I think, but I think... What I'd like to see happen is something very Minecraft imagination happen to minecarts. Like imagine, just like Elytra, if you were able to use rockets while you're in a minecart. Um, maybe they don't go as fast, but maybe they could be used in that way. Um, or you could just boost the furnace minecart to go a lot faster. Um, you could, I like the idea of mine carts sticking to the tracks in some ways, sometimes, depending on how fast they go. Like, can you imagine if you could put tracks along the walls so that as you're coming in, you can come down a mine cart track. And if you're going fast enough, you can kind of like up along the wall sideways, you know, I think that'd be kind of cool. Cobblestone, we got some of these are ender box stuff. Do I have a bin for all the saplings? I don't know if I do. We got a flower box. Put all of you in there. Don't really care about the boots. Uh, it is a roughly around the time for me to take a short break. Again, I, uh, I do this about once an hour. And uh, I just need to step away for a few minutes. Don't go anywhere when we come back. We're probably going to continue on with building here in the in the medieval town. I just don't know quite what yet. We'll have to take a fly around and see what, what needs some attention. I will be back in five or six minutes.
All right. Well, let's take a poke around over on the other side and see what might need some finishing up. Thanks, CJ. How's it going? Good to see you as always. So I know that the church courtyard needs some love, but I want to kind of start a little bit farther towards the the wall here because I know well this does have a floor, although this is very empty. This just kind of goes up here. Empty, but fine. Uh, obviously, lighting is not final. Uh, also empty. This goes down this way. Empty, but at least it's finished. And then grass floor. Okay, so I think we're going to put a floor in here. And we're going to put a floor. Well, this one's a good floor, but we're going to make a little bit of texture changes in there. And the floor that I like for this kind of stuff is actually over here. In the keep. So, cobble and site, crack brick and stone brick. I think that works. Oh, where am I going? Downstairs. I guess I've been kind of burying the lead. I haven't gone upstairs in the keep with all the new people in chat today. <laughs> Beds everywhere, yeah. Uh, so let's go with cobble, stone, that, and andesite. We'll bring the coarse dirt and grass block. Bring the spruce. Should be it. Actually, we'll grab empty one too. Let's go upstairs. I can't believe I haven't gone out into the keep in a while. So this is the kitchen, but then over here we've got this major, this major hall. I keep on forgetting to show off it's over the river. Although you can't see it unless you're up on the window sill, which is weird. Not sure if the map is going to stay. Probably not. It's also out of date. Yeah, there's a lot's changed. A lot's changed. Let's, uh, that'll only take a second. Do, 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 do. Switch that around. Oop. So the map colors for some of these things are gross. When you compare it to the map here, it looks much nicer. Which is why we use Zero's Minimap. Smallish Kiwis, hello. How's it going? Three thirty, wow, yeah. Get some sleep. Thanks for coming out to Facing Typhoon. Always good to see you. Uh, let's go in here. So with these, it's I try not to think too heavily about them because they're just random rooms. This could actually be a decent spot to set up like a little home away from home, you know, like shelter boxes and stuff like that. 
So we're going to start, let's just put these out here. What I'm going to do is actually just go with these. cobblestone too often because it's in the foundation on the wall there yeah so we'll switch and use andesite for those bits instead mm, maybe not there Let's go with that. I think we'll do the rest in bricks. Oops, not that. So once you get the basics down, you can just fine tune it later. Like here, too much going on in the middle. And I like the idea of a smooth stone underneath each door. course we need the doors. We'll need a couple of those. And I'd want it to open this way. And then over here. And was there supposed to be something up top there? Um. Hmm. I love texturing like this the more and more that I do it sometimes consuming uh so time consuming yet so relaxing yeah that's the only thing like I I really it really hits me when I do like a three or like a two and a half three hour stream and all I've done is just this kind of stuff it really does take a lot of time don't know what's there I guess that's just the door This just feels weird, but there could be something covering it up later. I I think I wanna I wanna remove all of this and replace it with andesite. 
means switching this out. Probably for gravel. And then it's two blocks and a stair. Oh, and walls. Now that actually has a feel to it, um, I feel like that needs a little something. Can't see it. I think most of that's on the inside. I think the wall covers up most of it. Yeah, it's only the first two blocks here. So one thing about the this player scale is that your walls are very often only one block thick. Emmerich, hello! Long time no see indeed. How's it going? Let's go those. Oh wow. Is that visible? Totally is. Okay. We'll have to figure out how to hide that somehow. That's easy. When in doubt, trapdoors are your friends. Hmm. Don't know if these are going to stick out too much. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, Joshin Lay? Jokin Lay? Thanks very much for the follow. Sorry if your name is hard to pronounce. Maybe we can do the stairs up here. Actually, what this could use is some logs. And what did we use upstairs? Actually, we we could use a staircase in here. Because upstairs is this way. I want to say I did some rafter work in here. Yes. Ah, oak logs. Imagine that. I like that idea. Okay, we'll just do that again downstairs. Uh, did I bring oak logs? I did. Barrels. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Beautiful. Probably there. That's 
going to hide a lot of this up here. And then barrels and scaffolding. Oops. Adding a lot already. Uh, so here, we can probably drop this down. Do something cool here. Probably another log. It feels a little bit strange, but we'll go with it. Uh, and then I'm going to want slabs. Don't know how this is going to look, but we'll give it a go. Give it a go. Actually, do that. Uh, reverse. We want to do the opposite of that. And then over here, we could do stairs. It's a little busy. It's a little busy. What if we just used the trapdoors? Again, how many trapdoors do I have in this town? A lot. Just trapdoors. Even easier. Hey, the mighty Elkhorn is here. How's it going, Elkhorn? You're having a good day? So that solves that. Uh, it would be nice if I could do something similar there. Hides that. So here is where I'm thinking we have to do something else. No, that does not look good. I think I like it better without these. Ah, uh, yeah, that's tough. We don't need the bottom part. We just need those two. What could we do there? That's not terrible. I guess I could stomach it. Make it symmetrical, at least for now. So it has a floor. Doesn't feel unfinished, but it's obviously not decorated at all. Thanks, Cosmic. Appreciate that.
And do I still have all those things? I do. So quick job in here. That will go with some andesite. And maybe get a smooth stone or regular stone. This is basically like a building where people would walk through. So the idea is that this stuff would just look worn from people walking along it. Uh, that's weird, but I'll allow it just to keep it interesting. Cool. Um, maybe we'll just one, two, three, four on the five. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And then that way we can hang a lantern in here and get rid of the ugly torch. I should do lanterns in the other building too. Probably on chains. I imagine probably two lanterns should do it. It'd be so nice when you don't have to worry about all this with the new lighting mechanics. Uh, guessing one there and one there. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a seven. That was close. So probably three lanterns would do it. But I don't wanna. Chances are we'd end up with furniture where there's sevens. So we could probably do things like bringing the tables and chairs out of pack later. That's fine. This seems like an odd little patch of grass. Imagine we'll probably do a vine or something. Uh, I find if you lower them, you end up feeling like you're going to bonk your head on them. Right, like that does not feel, maybe it's because I'm a tall person in real life, but that to me would be disastrous, headache worthy. You know what, I don't need this bucket and door, that's a bed. I'd say that was a pretty successful little touch-up. Nothing too crazy, but just enough to make it feel like it's not forgotten about, you know? Oh, there was a bed in there already, wasn't there?
like we were never here. Where it isn't a good place for flowers? Now you're just butt kissing. <laughs> Hey, Elaine, how's it going? Good to see you. Hope your day is off to a good start. I always do myself the favor of logging off organized. So that next time I log in, I'm not looking for stuff for hours. Logbox, Bruce, or Sturt. I don't know why I have two beds. I'll have beds in one of these. There we go. Cool. Well, folks, that's going to be where I wrap it up. Uh, we're going to pass you on to Miss Rowe, however, as long as she's still alive. But uh, so far, uh, I feel like this area of town is starting to come together nicely. If we park ourselves right up here... I feel like this is starting to feel like it's it's one unit. We'll have to do the rest of the road another time. But it does feel to, uh, to flow kind of through everything. Uh, if you liked this, then please be sure to uh, leave a follow before you take off or uh, certainly continue on to, to visit Miss Roe because she's phenomenal. She's a lot of fun. Muir Dagon, thanks for the raid. Uh, we're going to pass everyone along to another person, though. I uh, really appreciate the, the eyeballs. Uh, leave a follow before you uh, before you get raided again or passed on again, because that way you can find me the next time that I go live, which will be tomorrow, by the way, around 1 o'clock on, um, on Atlantic Daylight Time. That's UTC minus 3. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Joel Duggan. Check out joelduggan.com for links to the other podcasts I do, like the Spawn Chunks and on... Um, the Citadel Cafe. Uh, also, uh, make sure that you check out uh, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. That's where you can get into the Discord for as little as $2 a month. Uh, you can also use Prime Gaming or Twitch Tier 1, which are 20% off for new subs this month. So there's a number of ways to join the community. It's honestly, I'm a little biased, but I think it's one of the nicest places on the internet. Uh, and I can't thank everyone enough for all the support today. Thank you for the gift subs. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the mods uh, doing their doing their thing. Muir Dagon has gifted subs to the community. Holy smokes, what a send off! Steven Seagal, Chaos Works, Ployd, and Delicious Donuts. See, now I want donuts. You're all now able to join the Discord. And then 275 bits coming in from Muir Dagon too. Thank you ever so much. Wow, what a send off! There we go. There we go. Well done. Thank you very, very much. Uh, so again, we're going to raid Ms. Rowe. She's phenomenal. She's a wonderful ray of sunshine in the Minecraft community. I hope you enjoy her stream. And uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.